I had a dream yesterday, yesterday night. And the dream was that uh, Viktor Orban will come tonight because he want to understand what I said in the European Parliament a few weeks ago. <laughs> now, Victor didn't come, but he sent me an SMS. Dear Danny, I will watch you at the live stream. So he is on the other side. So I will talk directly to Victor. Victor, you said in your answer to me in the European Parliament that I was attacking the Hungarian people. You were wrong. I wasn't attacking the Hungarian people. I was attacking a politics done by a government. And I hope that you will agree with me that a government is not all the people in a democracy. And you will agree with me <laughs> and you will agree that after we have known the totalitarian system of fascism and communism, the triangle, the golden triangle of liberty is a triangle. On one side, you have human rights. On the other side, you have state of law. And on the third side, you have democracy. If you put one of this point away, then the system crawl, and you go back to a totalitarian system. If you put away the freedom of press, then you are going in the wrong direction. But before I continue to this, Victor, I want to tell you a Jewish joke. <laughs> I don't know if you like that in Hungary today we can talk about Jewish joke, but I can't help, you know, it's me. <laughs> so the Jewish joke is, Victor, if you have only two possibility, take and chose always the third. <laughs> so, Victor, between Fides and post-communism, there is a third possibility. The name is LMP. <laughs> and you know, Victor, when I told you in the European Parliament that freedom of press is something that we all need. Freedom of press doesn't mean that press is always fair. No, I know in the last week there were some articles about me in the Hungarian press. That's life. The freedom of press is they can write if it's wrong or not, if it's an old story of 10 years, it doesn't matter. I like a press who is free that more than a press who is controlled. This is the base of our argument on the media law. You, <laughs> Victor, you have to understand, Victor, you have to understand that if there is a political body who control press, then it will instill, you will have in your country uh, a system where the journalists will be afraid. They won't write what they want. They won't say what they think because they were afraid of the control. And then there will be a system where editors will control their journalists and so on and so on. And you know where we will land? And now I talk to you, Victor, as one of the president of the European Union. Imagine you go to Egypt or to Tunisia as the president of the European Union. And you will say, I have a media law for you, new democracy, Tunisian <laughs> and uh, Egyptian. You know what they will tell you, Victor? This was a media law from Mubarak and Ben Ali. We don't want it. We don't want it, Victor. So this is our problem. Not with the Hungarian people. It's with an idea how democracy can function. 
And there we have a debate, a strong debate. You are elected. It was a free election, and this is good. But I told you in the European Parliament, and perhaps you can understand, and the Hungarian people can understand, democracy in all the liberal philosophy of democracy is not simply the right of the majority to rule, but also the respect of the minority. This is the base of democracy. You know, Victor, listen to me. <laughs> When there is in a village called, I can't spell the name in Hungarian, a John Kospata, I don't know, I'm sorry. And a, a match where is a far right march against Roma in the village Roma. I would have hoped that you, Victor, You go there and to see, no, these Roma are part of Hungary and what this far right are doing, we are against. This is democracy, Victor. You know, Richter, I think, and to finish on the first part on media law, don't be afraid. Because we have seen in Egypt, in Tunisia, in Libya, also when they try to strangle the free press, there is always internet in the blogs. And you can't kill this voice of freedom. So this will be also the case in Hungary, Victor. So the problem is that you have a wrong idea of democracy and it will be useless. It will be useless because if there is a wish of freedom in your society, And the history of Hungary has also shown that there are moments for big, big wish of freedom. Then they will find the path to go to the public, even if you want to strangle the press. This is the wonderful thing of a people fighting for freedom. <laughs> And now, you know, Victor, you have drafted a new constitution. And now I have a problem. The first, I, you know, I'm, I don't know if I'm a French or German, but suddenly I thought perhaps I could be, come to, to be Hungarian and to be candidate for the next European election in Hungarian. Why not? I'm a European citizen, you know this is a law. <laughs> no. So I take, I would say I want to take the Hungarian citizenship. Why not? Because I'm very linked to Hungary. For me, 56, the revolution of 56 was uh, the start of my political awakening. I went with my brother. My brother is nine years old. I was 11. It was my first demonstration against the French Communist Party in solidarity with the Hungarian Revolution 56 against the Russian. So for me to be a citizen of the country of the Petofi circle and all the intellectuals and all the fighters of 56 would be very good. But then you start your constitution with God bless the Hungarians. I have a problem. I don't believe in God. Are, I, I accept everybody who believes in God. I want to say, is an Hungarian only one who believes? This would be democratically a problem. Because you believe in which God? The Jewish one, the Christian one, the Orthodox one, 
So there we will have a problem. You don't think that the modern society, Victor, is a society where keep religion as a private thing. Everybody should have the right to have his religion. And I will fight in every country for the right of everybody to be, to can have their faith and can go to the church, to the mosque, wherever he wants. But this is not a constitutional awakening for everybody. Everybody can live like he wants, with or without God. This is the problem of a democracy. No, Victor, in your constitution you write me, because Danny, you want to become a citizen, an Hungarian citizen, and you say, we profess that the most important frame of our living together are the family and the nation, and the fundamental values of our belonging together is fidelity, faith, and love. For love, I can understand. For faith, I have a problem. And for fidelity, I think I'm not the only one who has a real practical problem. So why writing something in a constitution when you know that the majority of the people don't believe in it? And don't act like this. Isn't it more easy to say the base of our society is that we protect the way of life that the people have chosen, in family or not in family, fidelity or not fidelity, that everybody has the right to choose his way of living, and this is a modern democratic society. I think this would be...